Mm. Another issue about what could have been the reason why people are going into terrorism, All right. while we are saying sympathizers, so to speak. This man arrested was, one would assume that he wasn't arrested in the forest, he was arrested living among locals. Okay. Uh, and um, ISWAP, the ISWAP ideology analysts have said government also needs to, while you are doing the military arm of, you know, tackling them militarily, you also need to look at the social factors behind it because uh, my, my question basically is how do you displace ISWAP, for example, a breakaway faction from Boko Haram, and they've said that unlike Boko Haram, ISWAP protects the people. The people know them. The people know that they are ISWAP terrorists. The people see them as the only government they know. And so government may also need to look in that direction to be able to displace them totally beyond the surface. There's also need for government to also do the needful in terms of, um, you know, having a friendly face, so to speak. Let the people know that you are government and these people are terrorists. They are not really after your good. W what do you look at all those, you know, bigger issues that feels, that more or less feels uh, terrorism? I just pray the government uh, uh, are listening to these questions, beautiful questions that uh, needs to be looked into. You know, uh, most of our people, some of them, have lost faith in our security agents uh, because uh, some few, or oh, two years ago, uh, Boko Haram went to a community and killed almost everybody, claiming that they were a source of intelligence to the military, that they were mm. passing information to the police, and they were passing they information were farmers. to the fa farmers, thank you, the, that they were passing information. Now, how do you expect these people to trust the government? That is another big issue we need to start looking about, and that is why the military and the police need to come back home and reassess themselves. Find that those bad eggs within the system that are, you know, selling out information to these terrorists that hurts our people. Because once the people lose hope in the military, intelligence-wise, lose hope in our security agents and DSS intelligence-wise, I tell you, there's going to be a big problem. Now, talking about the community and, uh, and the criminal it's elements well. living together, <laughs> you know, there are, there are various factors or methodology you use in eliminating, eliminating terrorism. The military and our security agent needs to start looking at the linking, the resourcing, and demobilizing these, these terrorists. You need to delink them. What happened now? Uh, the arrest of the uh, ISWAB leader is one of the delinking methodology the military has carried out, and it's going to work effectively because now there will be no link between the leader and the and the followers. And once the followers lose the link that connects them to their leaders and financier, I tell you that the spirit of terrorism will depreciate. So they need to start looking at the linking methodology, then the resources is also very important. Because where did they get the resources from? How did they get the money to finance this uh, kidnapping? How much do you think it costs to buy a Kalashnikov, a, multi, a, a general multipurpose machine gun? Do you know, it's very expensive to get this arms, arms and ammunition. And, we, and they have this thing. And they, they have it at the hands. So looking at the leader is not sufficient. Let's look at the financier. In the last uh, uh, NSAS, uh, uh, okay. incident uh, project. The CBN, you know, quickly cuts those that, were, that financed the NSAS project. Yeah. Now, we need to start looking at uh, banking factors. How would they help in getting the financiers of terrorism? Mm -hmm. So if we look into the link methodology, the resourcing methodology, and demobilization methodology in, in, this, in this war, bringing in the military component, the uh, social component, and the uh, societal component, uh, uh, political component, Terrorism will be mitigated. But I will not come here to tell you that we will be able to eliminate terrorism because crime, the truth is crime will live with us till eternity. We will live with crime. But the factors we're looking at is how to reduce this crime. Nigeria is not having a good name in the international community. Every day I will get a call from outside the world. What's happening in your country? What's happening? Are you telling me your guys cannot kick, out, kick off this ASS? I say, uh, I'm sorry, uh, they are doing so well. So for me, I think uh, the military have done so well, the police have done so well, because for you to put your life on the line, and our soldiers must be appreciated, Vera. You know, I woke up this morning, you know, once it's 5 o'clock or 5 a.m., 4 a.m., you know, you start feeling, the sleep becomes so sweet, you know. I said, oh my God, alarm, TVC, this morning, and I'm coming all the way from Chevron. So I said, oh, 5 o'clock I'm awake, but why am I asleep? Some soldiers are in the right. battlefield awake, mm. pursuing the enemies they never created, mm. pursuing the, 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 the people they never, the, the people causing problems to this country they never created. Because no soldier creates enemy, 
the, politi the po 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 enemy comes from the, from the political angle, then the soldiers go to this meeting. So that is why, the from the political perspective, our politicians must also want to remember that none of them will live till eternity. I'm sure there are those who would want you to expatiate on that statement you just made. What that statement is that? are created from the political angle. Oh, yeah, sure. So expatiate on that, how do you mean? Okay, for example, um, <laughs> There was a coup uh, in an uh, in African country. Yeah. Mm. And, okay. uh, it, 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 you know, you voted the president into power. Mm. The military came and fetched him out. Mm. Are you with me? I'm they, with yeah, then you want to send some soldiers to go and fetch out that military. Those soldiers you are sending there, they didn't create that problem. Mm. You understand? They didn't create that problem. So that is why politics is a very sensitive angle. Because but those ones are terrorists. You say what? These ones are terrorists that we are talking about. How, how were they founded? Mm. They were, were political motivated. Mm, ideolo they were, ideology. Were, it's, it's, it's an ideology right. driven mm. uh, uh, component. Mm. So when you look at these uh, issues from political angle, mm. every problem in a society is political. Mm. Are you with me? It's po po political. So sometimes the reason why they strive could be due to so social factors, right. you know. If we have good education mechanism, unemployment mitigated to as low as reasonably acceptable, we don't have high turnout of unemployment. Then there was a, there was a recent flood uh, is in the Benue state uh, that Nigerians were displaced in their own country. Right. Yeah, you know, you see, I, I start, when, I, when, when we look at disaster, you could talk about natural disaster. You could talk about man-made disaster. Mm. And you could talk about inadvertent disaster. Mm. Natural disaster is, is, is caused by God. It's, it's, it's natural, you know. We can't do anything about it. Man-made disaster is what is the problem of Nigeria today. Terrorism is man-made disaster. Right. Most countries are working so hard to curtail with man-made uh, natural disaster. But here, we are fighting so hard to curtail with man-made So how should the military disaster. move on from here now, now that they have him in their custody? Because earlier you mentioned that uh, you wouldn't want them to prosecute him as quickly as possible. They should take their yeah, time, get information. Yeah, so how should they move on from here? Yeah, moving on from here, I think uh, they need to uh, have an effective collaboration with the security agency, uh, the police, the DSS, for intelligence purposes, you know. Uh, the military, uh, as, like I rightly said, have done so well. So what they should be doing uh, as right now is to, like I, I mentioned, three factors to delink the resource. Now, Start looking for the financial, uh, for, to their, uh, those financing yes. tourism. Look, look, look out for their financier. Because if you cut up... Do they have the capacity to do that? <laughs> yes, the military has the capacity to do that. Because, uh, Vera, money, we're talking about cash and uh, money here. They have the capability to do that. Even if they don't, the DSS has the capability. I am very sure they have the capability to do that. If we can do it during the NSAS uh, period, we can still do it during this time of terrorism. All look right. into, into the banking factors. Look at because ter looking fighting terrorism, you have to look this at the matter, We've been talking about it for a long time. <laughs> look into the banking sector, we've been talking about even NIN, BVN. How is it that we can't still make trace this? There's a compromise track. somewhere because very security good. is achievable, like I rightly said. All right, very, very achievable. We'll leave the conversation here now. Yeah. Dixie Nasaje, certified master anti terrorism specialist. Thank you for your time on the Thank, Thank you, Vera. Thank you.